Hi, I am Kajer on two wheels and today I have a three for one. So today we're going to be reviewing an MT-07 but limited to 35 kilowatts for the Class A2 license in Europe and this Yamaha jacket and these Yamaha gloves. So very quickly first the bike it's a regular stock MT-07 everything here is stock okay there's no accessories on it except it is limited to 35 kilowatts by um, cutting off the air intake with less air intake less air goes into the bike so it uses less gasoline so it has less power that's the only change on this bike so the the end this is trying to answer the question of you guys with 18 years old which just got your a2 license and are wondering if it's better to get a 300 cc bike or a 700 limited to 35 kilowatts and deal with the extra weight. This is the MT-07, which is by itself a light bike for a 700cc bike. It weighs under 200 kilograms. It has a very short distance between the wheels, so it's a very agile, fun, young, and nice looking bike. But we'll see that riding in a moment. Now the jacket. This is a Yamaha soft shell jacket. It's the paddock jacket. It does have protectors on the elbows and on the shoulders. There's an optional back protector, which is stick on by velcro the jacket is actually made by speedy so the back protector is a speedy back, back protector just like my other adventure jackets and it is exclusive to it because it just connects with a couple of velcros on the back so if you put that you suddenly have a full jacket with full protectors do note that this is microfiber it is not abrasion resistant and so it will likely tear itself apart if you go sliding across the pavement i don't see i could not find out if this have any kind of Kevlar reinforcement, but I do not think it does. It does not feel like that. It's very light, very soft, does not look like a motorcycle jacket and is great for you younger people who don't like to look like bikers. So it's a regular jacket. It looks great. Okay, ignore the belly. Okay, I'm fat. Um, but if you look at it, it just looks like a perfectly normal jacket. It's a paddock jacket. It's warm, a bit warmer for the current climate but it does have ventilation here all up all the way up the sleeves under your armpits and with vents coming out the back two pockets perfectly normal and an internal pocket which is waterproof very nice touch yamaha with the logo like that one quite a lot on to the gloves the gloves are regular leather gloves there's not much to tell about them perfectly normal relatively cheap price 70 euros um for a set of leather gloves 70 euros is actually pretty nice it's uh, the lower ends of the leather gloves it does not have any protectors on the fingers hence the 70 the 70 euros but it does have uh, some big fat knuckle protectors very stiff they are waterproof you see the waterproof membrane inside they have a lot of protections on the palms and on the little finger these two strips here are reflective and the cuff is not perfectly short it's not long it's a mix between the short cuff and the long cuff it's still a short cuff but it's not super short other than that you have a wrist adjuster you have your yamaha logo it's a set of nice gloves for a very nice price actually to be honest they're more designed for more urban environments because they don't have the full protectors on your fingers they do protect your little finger a lot to protect you from the initial impact again impact protection and this is the bare minimum of protection you should be wearing younger guys do not like to wear the equipment they like to go with t-shirts because it's lighter at the very least wear one of these minimum protection which will protect you at least from the initial fall the initial drop so you don't get hurt a lot if you slide along the pavement pavement you are still going to regret it but at least you do have elbow and shoulder protectors and a nice set of gloves bare minimums people let's see how this bike rides this is a class a2 bike for new riders so it is limited to 35 kilowatts which is 48 horsepower for the european a2 license which is an intermediate license for 18 year olds and up to at least in the portuguese legislation 
up to two years experience or 25 years old whatever happens first the end result is that this is supposed to be an easy and forgiving bike so we don't get kids killing themselves because they overdid it this one I would put it at the top end I've ridden many A2 bikes I actually quite enjoy the A2 bikes they're a good in between between lots of power exaggerated power or the underpowered which is the one to five and it's a nice in between a, a commuter bike doesn't really need much more than an a2 maybe just a bit more the classic 60 to 70 horsepower it doesn't need much more 48 is just a bit less than it would be ideal but it still works for in town you don't need more than 48 horsepower if the bike is light like this is it's still going to be rocket ship fast so you don't really need more this can overtake cars in a jiffy and on that class this is one of the fastest I have ever ridden I would say it is the fastest I have ever ridden of the A2 class license but that is an unfair comparison because I am on it right now and the only way to actually say that was to get three or four of these and test them back to back but this definitely at the moment feels like the fastest A2 bike I have ever ridden I know it's not because they're all 48 horsepower okay they're all roughly the same it feels way faster than the T-Max I just tested but the T-Max has all the wind protection you can you can want seating position is different so the feel is not the same but holy moly this is fast another thing that really helps the speed sensation is that the short wheelbase makes it very nervous very agile so when you full throttle it the bike does pop a wheelie if you full throttle in first gear it will raise the front a little or a lot depends but it will it will raise the front if you do it in second gear the front might not pop up it, no matter how violent you are uh, let's go around the sand there's no use going through the sand here uh, but it will go very light indeed and so this lightness of the front and rear makes it a very exciting bike scary and exciting and that can be awesome so that's why it is said that this is a young bloke's bike because it is exciting it is fast you're on a 48 horsepower bike a limited bike you're constantly going this bike is trying to kill me actually it's not <laughs> the limit on the bike is way much than what you ride at the moment but it doesn't feel that way and at the end of the day the feel of it is the most important thing okay test track let's see how fast is a limited 35 kilowatt mt07 the answer is plenty fast enough to excite enough to put a young bloke into serious trouble and there's a car so fun's over what a wonderful bike I overdid it a little bit over there and I got a bit scared because it suddenly I was not comfortable but the bike saved the day just kept on gripping kept on leaning and just kept on doing what it should be doing again stable and agile bike as I said on the first the first time I tried this bike and I fell in love with it the spike does manage to do these two completely opposite things brilliantly well I guess that's why it sells like hotcakes it's not just the engine it's the agility and being stable on the corner while still being agile to flick around which is a really hard in between points to, to achieve and this one does manage to achieve I would put it a tad over the nervousness part 
So I would say it is a bit too nervous, but that just makes it fun. That's part of the charisma of the bike. This, it's still stable, just. It's not wobbly, it's not nothing like that. It's super stable while cornering, etc. But you do feel like the bike is constantly going, I wanna go, I wanna go, it's an evil. Underneath, even limited, you can feel the the evil that there's in this bike. It does bring out the dark side. These MTs do bring out the dark side. That's a big screw on the middle of the road, which is from this car for sure. Yep. He most likely was. Ouch! Ah, fuck! See? That's why you wear a, a full jacket. I just got hit by a bug straight in the middle of my chest where it's open. That hurts. Ah, that hurts. That's why I wear a jacket, folks. There's a, a great example there. That's, that's why. Okay, onwards. So that's the MT-07. An awesome bike for a beginner. probably the almost a bit too much it's like you respect this one this one needs respect it's not like say the z300s that i tried or the mt03 where you can just drive ham fist at it and it will just work with it it's really hard to fall on one of those it's not going to be hard to have a serious crash on one of these so you can get one fine if your dad's to on the fence of buying one of these it's a good buy just make sure you respect it especially while you're still trying to learn it when you think you know the bike and you can start popping wheelies and stuff that's the time to start slowing down okay take your time this when i said this bike is evil it is evil it will bite your head off if you're not careful if you're careful it'll be a fantastic companion an exciting companion it'll be fun as hell for you young guys oh you're not going to get this reference but youtube helps go research um sharon stone in i don't know the name of the movie in english very sorry but yeah i would nickname this one the sharon stone exciting sexy you're gonna love it but if you're not careful you're, you'll end up with a nice pick to your face. So that's it. A limited MT-07. One note on the jacket. The guys who designed this, because these d jackets are not uh, just created. They're actually designed. There's research that goes into this. That's why these are expensive. Um, actually thought of one deal. Is that when it's too hot, this jacket can be opened. The zipper stops and holds by itself. It does not move by itself, so you can open the jacket a bit, not completely, but open it a bit, mid-chest, and then a huge ton of air starts flowing in and out the rear vents on the back. And this works fantastically well. I was really hot, but now I'm here puttering along at 80 kph and suddenly I've got more air in the jacket that I know what to do with. So actually I'm going to zip it up a little bit. So much better. This makes the jacket suddenly be a lot cooler. I'm going to zip it down a little bit now. Yeah, that's the spot. And now I am fresh and cool and the zipper is not going anywhere. Since this isn't abrasion resistant anyway, there's no use in keeping it tightly buttoned up because it's not going to survive sliding along the pavement anyway. So this is for the urban impact, for the small hits and scrapes you get in town at 40 50 kph bare minimums people this is a jacket of bare minimums while looking uber cool that's it i'm here at mj paiva to deliver the bike the jacket and the gloves all helpfully being seated here they come um the jacket is 200 euros uh, since i wore it it's going to be on the store the portuguese store obviously for 150 the gloves are 75 euros, not bad. And since I wore it for the test drive, it's going to be on the store for about 50 bucks, at kinda. So check prices. If you're Portuguese, just go there and check the prices. Basically, that's it. I fell in love with this bike again. So that's it. Get your out.